And away we go. Let's welcome Thomas to the VAC Lab basement once again for mini meet number 24. Wow, hard to believe. We started this in 2018, and now here we are closing out 2021. This is being recorded in mid December. So, this is the pile of machines that Thomas claims he has not run yet. So everything since the last mini meet number 23. So you can see what we have here. So we got a shark, got a Bissell, got a dream, dream tech. Let's see, we got a, I think this is, what is this green note? Yeah, that's green note. Uh, we have this, this unusual one here called a vac lab. How about that? Same name as my YouTube channel and yet another Bissell power force. Actually, he's got a four pull of Bissell there. They're all like they're like yeah. little twins. Yeah, a whole bunch um, of those. It's like girl, uh, girls and boys over there. Yeah, yeah, purple and blue, so, purple and blue. This is a little Pacific one that he wanted me to try, so we'll go with that. Yeah, well, that's the one. Well, one of the ones I now have a pair of purple ones. They're actually in great shape. So the uh, the base isn't twisted. So that was a problem in in the past. Brush rolls in good shape, new bearings, motors fine. And of course, this, this Bissell right here, if you look back, uh, I don't know, a number of videos ago, has new motor bearings and new brush roll bearings. So that guy is ready to go. We're going to put a few of these off to the side here. Yep. I'm going to do the little stick backs. And I've changed my lighting because I'm kind of running out of space down here. So rather than having everything on stands... I have them hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> so, <laughs> you guys will have to uh, tell me if it's an improvement or not. Well, because uh, I do like the increase in space. We'll take that hush puppy upstairs and use it when the time is right. Yep. Um, I'm going to try the back clap one first. Yep. So that one has two speeds, a low and high, and an aggressive carpet-oriented brush roll. That's what makes it so different. I commented on the channel and I said this thing sounds like a little Electrolux. <laughs> yeah, look at those carpet lines. I can even feel it like agitating the carpet. Yeah? The head. So did you put it on high? A little button there? There we go. Woo! <laughs> look at it go now. But it's got real carpet lines, and that's kind of rare. It's actually very... It just glides along. It's, not, it's yeah. a little bit heavy in the wrist, but it's a stick back. Yeah. That's the way they are. But I actually enjoy this. It, it feels like it's cleaning. It feels kind of... Oh, we got a little bit of lip going So, you can even hear this little head going ring. Oh, yeah. Well, if I'm not mistaken, didn't they score the best or one of the best in the whole house clean? Well, it made it into the top tier. It was in the four gram recovery mode. And a little bit of a lift there when you get to the uh, corner. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's my top tier machine. It's not. It's not the highest. The Dream Tech actually, I think, was the highest. But this one was still in the four gram uh, total bin extraction, and that's great. A little bit of a, a little bit of a little ball in there. I don't know if he had stuff in there from yeah, before, but it. no, it was clean. So I haven't I haven't cleaned my carpet in a while. Oh, so well, not, not since the last time. I see some dust in there, so yeah. This yeah, one, this actually can get some fine dust because of yeah, you see the bristles. You can see it in the bristles, even like on the little brush roll and the plastic hair. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Poor it's there. Hair. It's just everywhere. You know, this is a all right. One like one down. Yeah, it's not that expensive. Last time I looked, it was. It's $170 something. There might be a sale on it 
where it could even be cheaper as time goes on. But it's it's pretty interesting. Okay, the green note. Well, another thing I like about these ones too is I love the ones that extend. I don't like fixed. The ones where you gotta be yeah. like. Well, you're you're taller than I am, so, and you're definitely taller than my wife. All right, let's try this. All right, let her rip. That one's a two-speed as well. This in here sounds like a little toy. Yeah, compared, it's much quieter. This thing here kind of. Uh, Does that slide around on the carpet a little bit? Yeah, it don't or, really. It doesn't want to go where I want it to go. It kind of. A little hard to control. Yeah, yeah. it's very. It's it just. Yeah. It's flimsy. Right. Well, That's, crank it up. It's a button on the top, little black thing. Right there. Yeah, push. There you go. There you go. That's it. Sounds like a toy. Yeah. I think that was uh, in the very yeah, inexpensive. Like yeah, it, it's just kind of slides. It doesn't. It doesn't steer very well. It makes the carpet lines, but it's a little harder to to deal with. Of course, on bare floors, these machines are going to excel the best. Yeah, they're not meant for carpets. Yeah. I think that's really why they design stick backs. It's just for people with hardwood floors. Yep. And they'll all do just fine on hardwood floors. So we're just kind of pushing it a bit when we put it on carpet. Well, people have hardwood floors and they have rugs and, you know, they need a, a freshen up and cleaning. But this, I mean, yeah. this little guy here just won't, it's just, it's got a broken neck. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Big difference between the Green Note and the Vac Lab. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Not a fan. It's all right. I mean, I guess, but if I had to choose, definitely the Vac Lab. This yeah. is kind of. That's such a self-serving comment. <laughs> Just all things considered. <laughs> it, is, it is what it is. Yeah. But if I had, uh, mm. you can see me buying one. Yep. Okay, here we go. This guy I'm, should be as good as it's going to get. I'm very familiar yeah. with these machines. Uh, I remember the last time you ran it when it had the mangled base. You know, it was kind of twisted. And you ran yeah, it like, like, nope, nope, this isn't right. Something's yeah, I, wrong. I think I ran for like five seconds and I just like, eh, uh, we'll pass. <laughs> but these cheap machines are like this. They're, they're not meant to be like a Kirby or a... Something that just glides across the carpet, you know, so you get yep. what you pay for. It is very light, though. I mean, it's yeah, very light. It's, Inexpensive it's, and very light. It, it better be light. You know, but until you turn it on, then yep. it's like... Boom. Oh, I, you got to turn the power strip on. Sorry. Oh. Oops. I fool you. <laughs> <laughs> Base, yeah. This ain't nothing. This is it almost like it pulls itself. Yeah. This is now this this is out of my six of these things. This one I put new brush roll bearings in, but the motor in this one was fine. It didn't need any service. Yeah, and look at how it's look it's at how it's doing the carpet line. It's just water bottom along, no yep. resistance. Oh, and it's got a new belt, too. <laughs> it's, I'm not having no problems. Yep. This is even Kirby. That's better than a Kirby. Easy as a tech drive, huh? Just for our audience yep. say. Sure. Sure. That's not even terrible. It's a little yep. bit harder. Yeah. Here it did. Um, yep, uh, <laughs> grab the edge. It's sure does. I thought this thing did over 60 CFM. I think it's like 60. 50, yeah. 50, Might even bid like mid 60s. I don't. Uh, I've done so many. I can't remember. But yeah, look at those carpet lines. That's really something. 
And and you know, the great thing is they all smell nice. I don't remember if it was cleaned out or not when we started. But... Um, it it had a it had a little bit in there, but it did pick up a little bit more. And you know, anytime I use it, that the little fine dust just kind of piles up in there, and it's a little sticky. It washes off, but I mean, normally it just kind of piles um, up there. Compared to when the yep. base was warped, I'm actually impressed. Oh yeah, yeah, They're, it's really nice for what it is. So I got two purples that are that are good to go. And the other forpal, uh, I got to work on those. I, if, two thumbs up for me. Yep. Now he says, Thomas says that he has not uh, used the green shark. I'm going to do this pistol first. Oh, okay. All right. He's going to do the other pistol. Okay. Now that one was two motor bearings and two brush roll bearings and, of course, a new belt. This one's much heavier. Yeah, yeah, much heavier. Much he and it's not, also much older, too. Not terribly heavy, but yeah. it's... Um, It'll drive different. I'm sure this will be harder to push than that one, too. Yeah. This is a much longer cord, which I love. Yeah, I'm always into longer cords. Not, yeah, me yeah. too. I hate short cords where you got to constantly replug. When you live in a thousand plus square foot house, you don't want to plug all the time. <laughs> Bissell. Oh, you think it's just as light? It's just as easy to push. Okay. It's not any different. So I'm wrong. Well, isn't it heavier in your hand, though? I mean, wrist no. weight? No? No. All right. I can vacuum all day with this. All right. Don't need to work. I'll, I'll vacuum the whole house. Just for giggles and whatnot. Well, hey, um, I, you know, grab the other purple bissel and put them nose to nose to see how wide everything is. Here, I'll, I'll turn this one this way. Grab the other purple guy and just put it, put them nose to nose, and let's see what the cleaning path difference is. There. So you lined up one edge, yeah. So you've got a little difference there. You know, inch something or other. You know, whatever that is. I mean, if. They don't make that model anymore. So. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Very so, popular, I mean, but the red one is long gone. I mean, if, let's say I had the older model and it broke, I would definitely, and I've seen this one in stores, I would go with it. Sure, and it's less money. Yeah. I mean, I thought this one was 100-something, you know, when it was new, and I thought this one's more like a 60 to $75. I mean, obviously... Prices vary. Depends on what kind of sale price you can get on stuff. I think recently I did look at, at Walmart and it was like $75 or something. But, you know, it's like the stock market. Stuff changes. You cash on Black Friday and you can probably get it for less than about $39.99. Oh, yeah. Every so often you get these wild deals where they're practically almost free. <laughs> that's why people set them out at the curb. They fill up the bin and then, all right, that's good enough. Got Let's my see. use out of it. Let's throw it out. Well, these machines here were in production for a really long time, too. I mean, yeah, they sure were. They were around for a very long time, but the thing yeah. was, people didn't clean the filters and take care of them. So didn't clean they, the brush rolls. They rolls. got trash. Yep. You know, you get people who don't take care of their vacuums, and they go, they break. A mess of cords. <laughs> yeah, I know. You got a mess of cords to, to fiddle with. Now for this... Um, 
purple. Yeah, the, the, the little little green dude, which is drives very differently than its bigger brother. It's got a much smaller motor in it. But the cool thing is, and I mentioned this before, you can actually run it full power with your suction valve completely closed. And I find that a lot of the more powerful sharks, you have to open those valves up. And that just, you know, it just wastes uh, cleaning power. They've got so much suction. And yeah, it sticks right heavy. to the carpet. Yeah, it's heavy and they just stick right to the carpet. This one is not that way. I can't believe when I watched Ellie use this, she didn't even complain. Yeah. So. Let her rip. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a handle on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. But. The, all these sharks that I have tested, they all have handle weights. Yeah. They're all handle weights. But they essentially push it forward. It's almost like it pulls itself. Yeah, and they're grabby. Their brush rolls are grabby. Well, I like that. This is nice. You want to compare it to your old red one? Sure. Okay. Oh, oh, not, don't get the cord. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. I I'm not a cord person that runs over my cords either. Yeah. I'll have you know. I have actually been shocked by doing that before. Yeah, it cleans. It, it, it agitates the carpet very highly. <laughs> Probably got a nice big... Yeah. Nice little blob of carpet yeah. in there, yeah. You're going to have a... You're gonna I have... think I see it. It's accumulating on the side there. It, here. <laughs> there you go. Want to know where your carpet went? <laughs> in the vacuum. <laughs> I like this little guy. Yeah, I do too. Let's try the slash and release. Yep. Uh, instantly. I didn't even move it, and I could feel it just lift up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice. For a little guy. Well, literally, a little old lady used it for six years, clogged it, bought some new filters, all the new filters, and then went, eh, it still isn't working, because they didn't go and remove the clog. Yeah, yeah, so you, you got the... Little, you see a little... See that right there? That ain't nothing but carpet. Yeah. You get out and knit me a sweater. Yeah. <laughs> now, little... if, you, if you wanted to compare, here's the big dude that I replaced oh, the motor in. You can see the ball of carpet in there. It just oh, yeah, up. yeah. It adds up. So this, this machine here used to be Thomas's, but the motor blew. And I... Gave it to him, essentially, because yep. you know, I had no use for it. I'm not a, yep. I'm not a person that's how to take vacuums apart and fix motors and stuff. I'm not a. I think I did. I, I think I did brush roll bearings on this one too, so it's in it's in good shape. But you know, it's so powerful that even on my medium pile flow through carpet, you gotta open up that valve because it will just suck down like glue. Well, it's a. It's a, even the machine itself is just a lot bigger and yeah, bigger, bulkier, bulkier heavier. heavier. Yep. And this machine here is like three hundred dollars at Target. It's certainly more expensive than that one was. This, I think the shark, that little shark right there, I think that's like a hundred and fifty. Call me wrong, mm -hmm. but price, your your price may vary. Yeah. yeah. But this big huge shark right here, you're gonna. You're going to do some damage with it. Look at that. It just sucks right down like... <laughs> the you know what? Going forward, 
I'm not noticing much different than that. And, uh, yeah. For me. Right. I'm not noticing much different, much of a difference. Oh. Even on full power. So these sharks have got suction. They've got adaptation. They've got airflow. I actually did not like shark at first. It grew on me. I like them better at Dyson's. Dyson is just overpriced plastic. Pull it forward. Those carpet lines are severe. He's this ru he's running this at. This is pull itself. Yeah, yeah. I mean that suction valve is closed. I'm it's pull yeah. itself. I'm not. That I'm it, just it, gotten it. It's severe agitation. Yeah, look at that. There's my carpet. There's that's my test carpet. Perfectly clean, and there's less of it now. And this carpet went clean before it is now. Yeah, look, those lines are just unbelievably severe. They're so deep into the pile. Even if you. Um, yep. Opening that up just vibes. But you know what? Um, uh, if you could afford this, I would get this one over that one, but that one would do just as fine. That one would work just as well, I think. Well, I'm going to shut this off because I'm literally destroying <laughs> yeah. his carpet. Yeah, look at that. Look at the... It's a huge amount. Jeez, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, in, so if you were to use a machine like this... On, on pile clean. carpet, I mean, you're going to get your carpet clean by just transferring the carpet in your carpet into the bin. So that's just, that's how harsh it is. These sharks, well, you know, I, with shark, when you have a simple cyclone design and you have, you know, you don't put a bunch of cyclones in, it's just one simple design and you take care of your filters these are going to perform better than Dyson, and they're they claim that they do work better than Dyson's even. So I mean, simple design, simple concept, tons of airflow, suction, get you uh, some agitation that's really harsh. You're going to clean your carpet. <laughs> well, cleans the carpet by virtue of ripping it out. Yeah, so, I mean. So what do we have left to run? I brought him a little surprise. Too. Oh. Well, we're gonna take this upstairs yeah. and run it, obviously. But okay. he's got a little Yeah, I've got a little I've got a little doodad back there. All the way in the back. Um says Hoover. Okay, we'll we'll go and play with that a little later on. But we're gonna go and try this Dream Tech here. Yeah. So he's never run this. So we're not going to run this on the carpet because it's not it's not meant for carpet, even though the brush roll is is carpet i mean that's that's what the brush roll is you have a carpet brush roll so i tried it on the carpet it's not really meant to do something with the carpet i'm not saying that you can't use it on the carpet but that's not my recommendation why would you run that on carbon you've got right. to yeah i've got other things so we need to run vacuums. it on the upstairs linoleum so we will reconvene upstairs and uh got to wind side. up a bunch of cords too yeah so. see you on the flip side Stay tuned. All right, up in our hallway foyer. And Thomas now has the Dream Tech. Let's figure this little guy out. Yeah, we got some warm water in there and a little bit of solution, but you know, we're not gonna do all that much, so it's only about half full. So take it away, Thomas. He has never touched this machine before, so he has no idea how it drives. Here's the power button. Yeah, it does, I get what it, um, yep. it's just It'll take off, yep. Because it's a carpet brush roller. 99% already. Yep. Um, what's this button? This is the dry button. Oh, yeah, no. yeah. So pick up a spill, but don't put any water down. And then the big button that's back here. You know, all the way back there, yeah, that one's going to be your, your deep clean when you put it back on the dock. Oh, we got a little bit of power, but... Yeah, I remember in the video, um, a couple of spots... It would, uh... Yeah, it turned colors. Yep, it would. 
depending on how dirty. And I was surprised that it was as sensitive as what it was. I mean, if there's like the least little bit of resistance, it'll turn orange. And if there's medium resistance, it'll turn red. I remember when y'all used it too, and it, it did a really good job of cleaning the linoleum. Yep, sure did. And it just leaves it a little shiny. See, just a little bit there. Very low moisture. VLM. But it dries quickly. Yep, sure does. That's what VLM would do. I'd love to have one of these. Because I've got a lot, a lot of linoleum in my house. Yeah, we use it We use it quite a bit. Really like it. Um, which, Bissell makes their own version of this machine. But I don't think it would do as good as this. It is heavy on the wrist. Yeah. Well, you know, it's got the water in there and whatever else. You're holding up an awful lot. I enjoy using so. So I can see why Ellie enjoyed it. Remember, did it say you could use other cleaners in this, or did it specifically say Dream Tech cleaner only? Yeah, it said Dream Tech cleaner only. Of so course, you could probably use other things, but obviously, Dream Tech wants you to use their own solution. You can also just use regular water, you know, but if you have something that's going to need some solution, you might want to experiment with some things, but Dream Tech just doesn't really recommend it, and I haven't had a chance to do anything either. Oh, by the way, if it sounds like there's like a, a cookie mixer, you know, like mixing up dough in the background, that's because it is. That's not the sound of the Dream Tech. It's Christmas time. We gotta have Christmas yep, cookies. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it does not sound like that. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, uh, uh. Don't you even think about? I have to wait till it dries. I'm very picky when it comes to floor being wet. So yep. Somebody walk on. Now this floor looks clean. Okay, it does not look dirty at all. So we'll have to do a tank dump and see what it looks like. Yeah, it does dry quickly. I will, I'm yep. noticing that myself. It's drying very quickly. Yep. I'll come to the edge of the aisle and I'll stop just to... Okay. Well, that's whatever you want. So you probably have an idea about how well this thing works. There, there's the cookie meister right there. That's my wife, Ellie. It smells phenomenal in this house. Blue yep. cookies. Yeah, she's doing oh, blue cookies. So blue she's got cookies. red, blue, blue what you say, blue. yellow. Yep, making cookies. Okay. Let's <laughs> powering off. Powering off. Okay. Power off. off. And then you There you go. Put it okay. in the up oh, and lock position. And then go put it on the base and see magic happen. Okay. Start charging. So when you see it this way, it looks like it's sixty-eight percent. Oh yeah, backwards. Yeah. <laughs> Which oh. way is it? 68 or 89? So yeah, if you want to go ahead and do the... There you go. That's self-cleaning. Self-cleaning. <laughs> and I remember watching in the video, like it actually cleaned itself well or something good. Yeah. yeah, it did. It did a nice job. Hey, it's 88, no matter which way you look at it. All right, we're almost done. And then 
We need to do a tank dump. Yeah. Battery lasts. It's amazing. Self-cleaning completed. Please clean the dirty water tank. You betcha. Okay. So go ahead. You just clean the dirty water tank. You just push this down and then go ahead and pull it out. Start charging. Go ahead. Yep, that's it. That's a ticket. And then come on over to the bathroom sink. And we'll come on over there. So we're examining now the floor that he just washed. And it's, it's, it's pretty dry. Okay. So come on over here. And we'll pull the stopper up so we can see what's there. There's a little bit of debris on the screen. Yeah, there's a little bit. You can, you can rinse that eventually. And then... Oh, well, I didn't want to. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, let's push it, it back through. down. This was essentially, this little right here was essentially clean. It wasn't dirty at all. But right. Rinse it out. Good to go. Yeah, and then let her dry. You, nothing in the water except little bits of pieces of yeah. hair and whatnot. So. Yeah, nothing there. There she goes. Okay. Now this separates top and bottom to make life easier. <laughs> and you just literally, just you just pull it up. Yeah. There you go. That's it. And let's see. Let's see how dirty it is. A little bit of debris. Yeah, there, a little bit. A little bits of this, a little, little bits of that. Okay. Um, I can look in here and tell you already. Sure. That was, that's, that's amazing. Black. <laughs> yeah, look at that. And that looked like a clean floor. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? So, sheesh. Now, we haven't uh, used this in a, well, several weeks now. Okay, I'm going to put the, put the big pieces there in the trash. Yeah, you don't want that going down the drain. Yeah. It's like a rainbow. That's kind of what the scene reminds me of. It's like a rainbow um, moth. Okay. The the dream bow. Yeah, the dream bow. Yeah. <laughs> or the rain dream. So I could see how they enjoy using this. This is a Yeah, it's it's great. And it's it's not, you know, big and bulky, that's for sure. It's expensive. Yeah, it's not cheap. Which the Disney brand isn't cheap either. It's like two hundred and I think it's like right at two hundred. Okay, let's clean it up. All right, get, that's good enough. You, you can just go ahead and reassemble it, and I'll I'll take it apart, dry it later. But normally, you're going to want to dry this. You don't don't leave it wet because then it'll start to smell. Yeah, you don't want mildew to build up in your machine. Yeah. And then Same thing with a rainbow. No water in the left in the rainbow. Then you'll end up finding it at the curb because people go, "Why does it smell?" Yeah, my rainbow stinks. Well, you didn't clean it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go down back to the basement lab, and we're going to run a, a Hoover. A Hoover. And here we are, back down in the basement. And Thomas is going to tell me a little bit about this particular Hoover that he is now donating to the lab. So it's a, I can see it's a Spin Scrub 50, and it's a model... FH5130, but if there's anything else, and we, ha we have it prepared with some water, so we're going to clean the carpet with it and see how well it does, but if there's anything else you want to say about it, now would be the time. This is a 10 amp motor. Um, the hose that connects down here, I did not have to give to him. He'll have to get his own, unfortunately. I don't know what happened to it. It, um... It went bye-bye. Yeah, this was my parents' machine, but they threw it out because they no longer needed it. They were going to throw it in the garbage. I said, no. Um, I have the same version, except mine is the Power Scrub Elite. Mine has the knob right here that allows you to switch from wash to rinse. Um, mine also has a knob down here that says light clean and heavy traffic. So it adjusts the amount of water that comes out, that sort of thing. But um, overall, like the tank assembly and uh, motor and all that, that's all the same. Um, it's a brand new machine. My parents barely used it. They yeah. used it like maybe four or five times. I and see it's got five uh, scrubbing brushes that are down there. 
and we're going to see how well uh, that does in a minute. Um, one more quick note. It just um, it's relatively brand new. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's dad, in great shape. My dad bought this. I was with him when he bought it. He bought it at Home Depot. I think he paid like a hundred and twenty for it. Hundred twenty. Right. And the Power Scrub Elite, the fancier model, is like a one eighty nine something. But you get the point. I mean, this probably will end up replacing his um, steam vac at some point. The steam vac's old. It's wore out. It's it served its purpose. Yeah, I've um, gotten twenty years out of it. That's for sure. Still kicking along, but it will blow up eventually. It's sad to say. Yeah, something like that. So it's probably just need motor bearings. But anyway, <laughs> so uh, yeah. I'm gonna let Bill take. That's it right nice. Now. So. Thank you very much for the donation. I can't wait to try it out and, and clean some large areas. We will do the, the test carpet, uh, but let me ask you a question. So in your, in your household, there down in West Virginia, you do not have a stick vac, a battery powered stick vac. No. You don't. I, I will not use a stick vac. <laughs> Bottom line is, you don't actually have a battery-powered stick vac. No. Okay. Well, guess what? Now, you do. Here you go. I just got a Christmas present. Yeah. How about that? So, you got the Zoker, and the thing is, is if you go back to Mini Meat 23, okay, you ran this, and it's the one that has the, you know... Tube that extends, and you said that you actually didn't mind it. So, uh, Merry Christmas, and have fun using a product that you've never normally used before, except for, you know, up here testing and all that <laughs> stuff. But I do have a request, and you already know kind of what that is. I have to make a video. you got to make a video of it. That's right. I will absolutely do that. Uh, yep. This was... Uh... This was unexpected. I wasn't expecting. I was just expecting to give him this, and well, I'll have to give him a hug. I'll there you go. <laughs> and I've got a so, Christmas card for you too, so but we'll just, do that off camera. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I forgot my Christmas card when I was yeah. coming up here. I had one mm -hmm. filled out, had my name signed. I mm -hmm. forgot it. That's okie dokie. So now you are the proud owner of a. Essentially mint condition used for I don't know two hours, Zoker A10 Pro stick vac that actually you said you didn't mind running, and you know it it, it fits your height. Yeah, I don't like some of them he had. I did not like the height. I feel like I was just like, yep. <laughs> but well, this is a rather nice turning event. <laughs> I'm very thankful. Wonderful. So I hope you get a lot of use out of it. And definitely, I cannot wait. Your uh, just kicked on. Yeah, I know. Me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I hope that uh, you get a chance to use it and make a video of it and uh, show everybody uh, what it can and can't do in your place. Yeah, um, I do need to, when it comes to my channel, I do need to get to back to work on it. Um, and I was discussing that with Bill. I've had some events in my life recently that have uh, put my channel on hold but I'm hoping to get back in the swing of things of um, I've got quite a few machines that you all have not seen with me and I'll get to demonstrate that on my channel very soon all so. right fantastic well I need to get to running that new Hoover turbo scrub spin scrub 50 okay whatever naming convention they have there before he um, gets started on it, I will mention I used this at my aunt's house not too long ago, and she has a dog that she's working on housebreaking. He has a few accents here and there, but he, you know, it really did a good job with lifting up, like scrubbing the stains, putting water down, and just, I can look at the water in the tank until it was really doing its job so i would venture to say this 
carpet washer will do a very good job at scrubbing, you know, just doing what it's supposed to. Well, I can't wait to try it out. So, stay tuned. All right, let's give it a run. All right, let's see what happens. This has a 10 amp motor, right? Yes. I think I just looked that up as a 10 amp motor. Doesn't your seam vac have like a, a nine? nine? Yeah. So, so it's a little is, more powerful. Right. And you uh, people watching, you know, I'll let you be the judge of, you know, like how that one sounds compared to his old one. What sound and yeah. show you aesthetics. A of course, comment your personal opinions. So, see how that, that's all that goes. It's all been cleaned up. Well, my cleaning. Uh, I'm yeah. sure Bill will go. Well, it's cleaned it up. He'll go through with a fine toothpick comb. You can guarantee it. All right. So all I do is turn it on, and then I have a squeeze button here on the top for for water, and I think yeah. that's that's it. That's that's all I do. Yeah, it doesn't have the um, like dump it all on one foot. Oh, it's very light. It's much lighter than my cane bag. this the first thing I like is it's tremendously lighter than my giant steam vac from from 1999 it is much easier to use I see a lot of water coming in I'm squeezing it
<laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, they probably couldn't hear us saying anything. <laughs> Pull that, yelling. The part where the uh, hose goes in. Yeah. Take that off and turn the machine on and oh, stick, okay. stick your hand over it sure. and test right. the air. <laughs> When you pushed it down and lifted it up, it was pulling it up. So I can actually hear some some real airflow from this thing. Now let me see. This carpet is uh, this is pretty wet. I I'll, mean, I did I did do I did do a pretty heavy water dump on it. That that's pretty wet. Yeah, my my hands are yeah, my hands are wet. What I want to do. And what I always like to test with this, because we did this with my previous Bissell. Yeah. I want Bill to get his steam vac out and see what water it can pick up because right. okay. I remember we did that with my Bissell carpet washer and I thought it picked the water up great. Yeah. You got that steam vac out and it was picking up gobs of water that that Bissell missed. And it was a jaw dropper. I was like, What? Well, let's see. Let me move off this off to the side, and I want to check the underside of the carpet. I don't imagine it's wet. No, it's... No, I don't even feel that it's cold. Okay, if you want to see the beast, I will bring the beast out. I'm over here praying that it doesn't pick up a bunch of water. Because if it does, then the beast wins again. That's not a bad thing, though. Because back in when those scenes came out, they were just, you couldn't beat them. They were unbeatable. They yep. just, big and bulky and heavy, but they Loud. just, yeah. they just kept, they keep going. They're like the Energizer Bunny. Okay, here's the big dude. And there's certainly nothing in there. Let's see if you'll see. Well, you're gonna have to tell me if you see anything, because yeah, pay we'll attention to the. See. Pay right, attention here the we go. Very little. That's yeah. not much. Yeah, very little. But well, I must have put a lot of water down. Yeah, that, I think that machine puts a ton of water down. Yeah. Oh, that's hardly picking up. Yeah, it's not picking up much of anything, so I put a lot of water down. In the water up. Yeah, I got a tiny little bit in here. It's just uh, a little splash. Oh geez, I, I wouldn't even fill a wouldn't even fill a teaspoon. Oh, let me see. Can I turn on my flash? I can't. Good. Yeah. So that's what I got. Just that little bit in the bottom. Yeah, it's, it's like a teaspoon. Okay, so that's wonderful. That's great. That's really wonderful. Yes, that means that thing's picking the water up. I'm gonna have to remember to, to dump it. <laughs> <laughs> believe me, then you... I'll try to remind you. Yeah. Great. I was, yeah. I, I was, I kept telling myself it was picking. When I used it, I said this is really picking the water up. And, and I thought, well, I don't have Bill's um, Hoover steam back to test yeah. that theory out. So that thing puts uh, water down. Um, I mean, a lot of water down. And I guess. Depending on how hard you squeeze the handle, you know, I could probably just squeeze it halfway, you know, yeah. instead, instead of all the way. I must have put a lot of water down. Yeah. Well, you had half a tank and you used like... Yeah, show both of them. Why not? You used almost all of it. Yeah. So, so now we got to do, we got to do a tank dump on this newer spin scrubby doohickey here.
So you and, use a lot uh, of yeah. that water. It picks up, picks something up all right. Let's see, handle release. And then what, I gotta do this doohickey there. And I know for a fact that Hoover steam back, it don't put down that much water. I remember when I used it on this carpet, you would fill it up halfway. It wouldn't be almost empty. Eh, it's not that dirty, but it did get something. Yeah, that's not. It's kind of you know, grayish. it's not like the Dream Tech. The Dream Tech picked up, yeah. I think, more on the linoleum than, than this did. Poor linoleum. Wow. Okay, so let's let's dump this out. Okay, ready. Let's try dumping this. Let's see what. Now, now, now show show the front of this. So Hoover apparently the parts separate top and bottom. Yeah. But you say that they recommend dumping from like, the top. Yeah, like if you have to separate, you can pull this clamp. When I ran this, I had a problem with the water escaping around that ceiling. Right there, yeah. And it wouldn't come out this instead. So. Okay. Now, I mean, you can just separate top and bottom, so I mean, it's up to you. So you'll have to tell me. Yeah, it's still doing it. Okay. See? Uh, it's leaking through the seal. Okay, so that seal. Yeah, turn it so the camera can get. Yeah, all right. So it's leaking from the seal. All right. But it, we tested um, his steam back. It picked up very little, so apparently it doesn't yep. affect the suction and airflow. Mm -mm. Nope. Appears to be fine. Okay. So obviously we'll clean that up and let it dry. Otherwise it would get moldy and smelly. So oh, I'll wash that right here. Oh, okay. Show you how it separates into a top and bottom. All right. So, I mean, normally the first thing I'd probably do is just separate top and bottom. But if for some reason you didn't want to, apparently these will leak. Right where they clamshell together. Just do a quick rinse, you know, it's not, yeah. it wasn't that dirty. I think the last vacuum I ran on the carpet was probably the sanitaire, and I'm guessing if I remember right. It was probably the Zoker Mega Test. So, yeah. yeah. High airflow, traditional vacuum, cleans the stuff out of the carpet. Sand, baking soda, whatever. Yeah, I don't know why that seal was. It sealed, it doesn't yeah. latch. But... Well, maybe what it is is they just didn't put a thick enough one in, or somehow it's gotten too compressed. Because the seal is there, so and that, that's actually easy to fix. You can go and uh, get another strip or something like you know, use some foam weather stripping something. Yeah, like that. Bill so, can put his own personal touch into it too. Yeah. Of course, all I can just you know just take the top and bottom apart and then <laughs> just dump it that way. <laughs> that's that. Whatever solution you like. Ta-da! Ta-da! All clean. There you are. Well, this is going to do it for Mini Meat number 24. It's hard to believe that Thomas has been coming up here from West Virginia since 2018. Before Long time. May. Yeah. We wish uh, all of you a very Merry Christmas. And uh, as I guess what can be learned from all these Mini Meats is it's a great thing to share your stuff. So if you have an opportunity to have somebody else go and, and use your stuff, uh, and you can um, you know talk about it and discuss your likes and dislikes and whatnot, it's a wonderful thing. Well, get out another person's opinion. Um, get Let them know what their feel for it is. It's always good to have another opinion on things. You, you don't want to just have like a... You don't want to have like a... Just be one-sided. Yeah, one-sided yeah. things. You need to get multiple opinions. I mean, even if they're bad ones, I mean, you can give a bad opinion on something without coming across as like a a jerk or something like that. You know, you you do it professionally. You just say, hey, I don't really like this machine that well. You know, like, and I've told Bill there's a few of his machines right here. I don't really... They're not my type. But... You know, <laughs> I'm making faces he can't see. Well, yeah, we won't say nothing. I'll be nice. Um, 
there's really not a whole lot of them I don't like. The mainly the ones I don't like are the stick, some of the stick vacs, and of course that. Well, we'll, we'll see, see if we can change that. We'll we'll see what it's like after he uses it for a little while. Well, um, I don't think I'll ever change my mind on the yeah. uh, Golden Tune Hoover. Burger. Oh, the early '70s Hoover. Yes, the That's... the one that everybody loves to hate. There we go. I like it just fine, by the way. Well. The sanitaire is essentially the same thing. It just, it's collar stance, and um, that's just it. That collar on that thing, it looks like a sunny side of it, egg, in my a, opinion. It's a trendy color for, hey, the 70s people thought it was cool, So, but it's not the 70s anymore, so it's um, no longer cool. I guess, you know, I'm not, I wasn't alive in the 70s. I wasn't born until the 90s, so. Yeah, he's, he's a youngin. So now, uh, Thomas and I are going to do uh, one of our favorite things to do after just about every mini meat we've ever had, and we're going to go and get a pizza. Pizza cottage up here. Yeah. I don't have it in my neck of the woods, and I'm a pizza uh, fanatic. I love pizza. It's my favorite food. Yeah. Never saw a pizza I didn't like, so. Uh, I even like pineapple on my pizza. Um Pineapple, ham, and uh, pepperoni. Uh, some people's like, you like pineapple in your pizza? It don't bother me. Pepperoni for me. Yeah, everybody has got their own little ways, wicked ways yeah. eating pizza. But um, yeah, definitely Merry Christmas. And I hope everybody's safe. Um, staying safe from COVID. COVID's just wicked. You know, we live in a day and time where it scares a lot of people. But, you know, I've learned to just... It's all under God's control, in my opinion. That's the way I look at it. Um, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year um, from me and my folks and Bill and his wife, Ellie. And I have nothing else to say unless Bill would like to say something. All right. Thanks for watching this. It's going to be long. I, I can't wait to go and, and edit this thing because it's going to be an, an awful lot of, of files, really large files. But some people like it really long, and that's normally what the mini meets are. So once again, thanks for watching, and Happy New Year. Bye-bye.